uh just start off with a bell once again in xenology you guys obviously know that's um a very common starting point for me chord progression one seven six seven we're in minor So it doesn't sound like much now, but then when we put some processing on it, I actually monoed it and took the, um, so I took the left side of the signal. Then I've just run it into a vocoder. Just to give it some like digital characteristics. Then we've got it running into a uh, phaser. Really sped, spreads the signal out. And this is the one that obviously makes a big difference. Um, Valhalla is super massive. Uh, we got the setting on Andromedia. So it's just this, it's this huge delay. Yeah, uh, that in itself just really laid down the landscape, you know. Then we've layered it with this pad. It's actually the same preset. Bell 3 is analogy, but we just process it different. Got a vocoder on it, uh, some distortion. Then I actually like changed the attack so it turned more into like a bit of a swell. And the release, I just like made it a bit longer as well. Cause they were obviously the same preset just to differentiate the sounds a little bit. So there's those two. And then I just gave this a bit of a um, swinging kind of like pan out towards the left. I've put it in this, um, in this hybrid reverb. It's called Modest Corner. So it kind of sounds like it's in like an actual room. Then we're running it into just the default setting on um, Eternity Delay. Uh, and then we've just got it like turned up to like 40%. The final bit of processing is just the Valhalla super massive again, but we've got it on uh, Capricorn and the mix is at 65%. This super massive preset, it's a little bit like less, less intense than the other one. It doesn't alter the signal as much. Just more like places it in the stereo field where we want it. Then we duplicated bell three again. This really just goes to show like how many, how much you can do with like one preset. You just, there's infinite ways that you can tweak stuff. So um, essentially we've got the same preset on these three elements, but we've just switched them around. So most of the parameters are the same to the, to the previous, uh, to the pad that we just did. But um, some things to, to note, I've just got um portal on. So I got uh, this, this preset is called all night pitcher basically uh, it's like a granular kind of effect and it just repitches like cut up bits of the signal then i've got uh this is a good panning preset that i use a lot it's called around the head um i just pulled it back a bit to 27 percent and then i just like to adjust the rate so it's just like it's like a panning preset that kind of just like spins around your head but as you can see, it's kind of like off axis. So it gives it kind of this like, I don't know, this like kind of confusing spin to it. I really, I like to use that a lot and just kind of tweak it a little bit. So those were sort of the differences that we had. I also, like I didn't touch any of these other parameters. So it's, it's, more, it's a bit more plucky sounding and it's a little bit more brighter. I'm actually going back through this beat and I'm realizing that I did a lot of stuff on it. So I didn't, I didn't really use any of this stuff. This is a preset. It's called Signs Bell. It's in uh, Spire. I use this a lot. It's a, just a nice, simple pluck. Then I wanted this to sound like quite harsh distortion. So I put this tape um, distortion plug in. It's called tape. I had this preset I found. It's called Vocal Presence. And then I just drove it a little harder and pulled back the mix a touch. Then it's going into this Andromedia preset. Did have this um, 
panning VST again. It's got quite like a harsh, um, I guess it's a sawtooth, um, and it's just like, just making it like kind of bounce like this in the mix. It's more kind of like a um, side chain kind of sound to it. I was trying something new with these hi-hats and I was just, um, just doing some stupid patterns that actually kind of sound pretty cool. I got this kind of like weird part just at the start. I just ran that into a H delay with like 4%. Just a little bit of a delay and it makes a difference. Like obviously you can hear it. And then I have all of these percussive snares. That's uh, still pretty simple. Not too much, like not too cluttered. Everything's just kind of like taking its own turn. And then same with the 808s. We've got one, two, three, but three 808s. pretty simple 808 pattern so yeah the only real thing that i did here was just selecting the right 808 that i felt matched the tones of the other ones that's one thing to note i just realized with the 808 pattern so this chord progression it's actually a eight bar loop i normally make like four bar progressions so they would just be like this long essentially shortened like that but i find with ambient stuff spacing them out like over the eight eight bars, they um it tends to sound better and not as like rushed. I generally get better results doing that, but it's not to say that that's the only way to go about it. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Yeah, this is actually a beat. Uh, I sent it to Heroin Six, so we actually have a song with this one. This little part right at the end is uh, I actually like it may have sounded a little bit different. I actually froze it in audio and just like grid aligned it because you might have noticed like when it played, it kind of didn't start to like halfway through here. So, but yeah, anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Once again, if you want access to this uh, Ableton project file, check out my Patreon. I put I upload all of my pet project files up there every time I post this. Beat will also be available on BeatStars um, if you want to purchase it. Got all my beats up there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.